Hello friends, today we are going to see how to delete a node from a singly linked list. So let's see an example. When deleting a node from a linked list, there are three types of the node. The first is that node can be a starting node. Then the second is that node can be an ending node. And the third is that node can be an internal node. So let's see what they mean. Starting node means, for example, in this linked list, A is the starting node, the head node of the linked list. So for deleting the head node of a linked list, we have to make the next node of the head as the new head. So this is the new head and then we have to delete this link and then we have to delete this memory for this node. Now let's see how to do this for writing a program how to do this. Suppose this is the link. Now just make P and Q point to A. So P and Q are the pointers pointing to node A to the first node. Now take P to the next node. So P points to the next of Q and then just make P as the head means I mean to say that variable head will point to P and then delete the link automatically this link will be deleted and delete delete Q so this memory will be deleted and return the head of the linked list the new head of the linked list now the second category so the first category is over I'll just delete that yes now the second category is it can be an end node so end node is the node which points to null the last node so for deleting this node now you have to make the second last node that is f to point to null. Yes, so the second last node that is this link should now point to null. And then this node will be deleted. This link is demolished and this is the link list now a b c f and null and then you delete this node this e whatever pointer we are pointing to now let's see how to do this programmatically i will again connect the node and i will show you how do we do that that is e now see, for doing the program, as usual, P and Q will point to the head of the node and then take P next to the next of Q. Yes, Q is pointing to the starting node, P is pointing to the second node. Okay, so this is the initial condition for the program. Now, when P is pointing to the next node, take both nodes ahead by one location. So, in a while loop. So, take it, Q goes ahead by one location, P goes ahead by one location, then again Q goes ahead by one location, and the P goes ahead by one location. And finally, Q goes ahead by one location and P goes ahead by one location. 
and now we come to the last node because p points null it is the last node so in this case you have to make q points next that this pointer to point to null and you have to delete p you have to delete p this is how we delete the last node now the internal node internal node for example can be node c so when we delete c we have to make b point to f yes so how do we do this yes q will point to the starting node and p will point to the next node of q as the initial condition as the initial step and then move both forward by one position in a while loop until we meet the node which we want to delete so move it so q is moved by one position p is moved by one position now suppose we want to delete f so now check q is moved by one position p is moved by one position you come here yes the data of p is f and we want to delete f our deletion node is f so now you have to make q points next equal to p points next so you have to take this link and point to this node and this link will be automatically deleted when we delete p delete p so this is how we handle these three cases let's see the code now this is the program for doing this so q is pointing to head and p is pointing to next of head as q was pointing and p was pointing here as you remember now if q points data equal to equal to d if q points data is equal to equal to d that is the deleting data the deleting node c in this function that is node star delete this d is the deleting node so if it is equal that means it is a start node and we have to make p as the new head and then we have to delete q you remember it very well then else else means if it is not the start node then in a while loop take it like while p points data is not equal to d is you just move forward the both the pointers that is p and q by one position till we meet data d so here if we want to delete f then go there and go up to f when p points data is equal to equal to d then it this loop will stop and it will come out when it comes out then there are two possibilities suppose it was g so if it is g then p would have stopped here but p is the last node so there is two possibilities that p can be an internal node or it can be a last node which is why we check if p points next equal to equal to null if it is equal to equal to null then that means it is the last node and if it is the last node as in here you have to make q points next equal to null q points next equal to null and then you have to delete p if it is not the last node then we go into else that means it is the internal node then you have to make q points next is equal to p points next so you have to link 
the next pointer of Q to the next node of P that is E and then you have to delete this P yes and then after finally you have to here return the head node of the new link list by deleting some node in the link list so this is how we delete a node in the link list you can get the full code on this link github.com slash vivekanand 44 you can get the full code on this link hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.